Welcome back to social class, dear students. Today we are going to see second class in economics, money, savings, and investment. Money, savings, and investment, second class. So last class we just stopped up to this. So we saw major stages through which money has evolved. What are these? Commodity money, metallic money, paper money, credit money, near money and recent forms of money. So these were the monies we saw. We are going to see it in detail today. So money has evolved through different stages according to time, place and circumstances we saw. So we will just start from first one, commodity money. So commodity money. In the earliest period of human civilization, any commodity that was generally demanded and chosen by common consent was used as money. So in the earliest stage of human, uh, they used as a common concern of money. So what they used? Goods like furs, skins, salt, rice, wheat, utensils, weapons, etc. were commonly used as money. So these were the things which were used as money commonly in earliest stages. Such exchange of goods for goods was known as barter system. What are they? Such goods for goods, such exchange for goods for goods was known as what? Barter system. So next. Next one is metallic money. So what is metallic money? With progress of human civilization, commodity money changed into metallic money. So metallic money was formed after the common money. Okay. Metallic money, metals like gold, silver, copper, etc. were used as they could be easily handled and their quantity can be easily ascertained. So, what were the metals they used as money? First one is gold, second one is silver and third one is copper. So, these three metals can be easily handed, handled by the uh, people as quantity concerned. Okay? It was the main form of money through the major portion of recorded history. So, these were the main form of money used in those days. Next. History of metallic money. So, what is the history of metallic money? The, pre the precious metals, especially gold, silver, bronze, were used for metal metallic monies. The standard weight and fineness of metal, particularly gold and silver, with a seal on it, became medium of money. Okay, the material. Okay, the metal, so which has a embedded seal on it, that was called as a coin. Okay. They were of different denomination, easily divisible, portable and were convenient in making payment. So they were having differences. So it was easily divisible, it was portable and it was very convenient for making payment for them. King Midas of Lydia innovated metal coins in 18th century BC. By ancient historian Herodotus. So first in 8th century they invented metal coin. So it was invented by whom? Historian Herodotus. But gold coins were in use in India many centuries than in Lydia. The earliest issuers of coins in the world are the ancient Indians along with Chinese and Lydians from the Middle East. The first time Indian coins were mined in the 6th century BC by the Maha, Maha Janapans, Janapatas known as Puranas, Karshapanas or Panas.
the mauryans came up with punch marked coins mauryans they came up with the punch marked coins minted of silver gold copper or lead and indo greek cushion kings introduced the greek custom of engraving portraits on the coins turkish sultans of delhi has replaced the royal designs of indians kings with islamic calligraphy by the 12th century ad the currency was made up of gold silver and copper known as tanka and lowered value coined known as jitals so the currency was made up of what gold silver and copper that was called as tanka t a n k a and the lower valued coin are known as jitals next the mughal empire from 1526 ad consolidated the monetary system for the entire empire in this era evolution of rupee occurred with the sher shah suri defeated humayun and issued a silver coin of 178 grams known as rupiya and was divided into 40 copper pieces or paisa and during the whole mughal period silver coin remained in use during the british east india company that is 1600 the mughal currency remained popular but in 1717 ad farooq shiar the mughal emperor gave permission to the british to come to coin mughal money at the bombay mint the british gold coins were termed as carolina the silver coins of as angelina the copper coins as caparoon and the tin coins as tiny it's tiny okay next these are the pictures of metallic money you could see this in your book page number 229 so these are metallic money mauryan money maurya okay karshapanas delhi sultan delhi sultan tanka sher shuris Sher Shuri coin, and this is Maurya's coin. Next, this picture you can see in your book, page two twenty eight. What they have given here is this evolution of money. So, what is evolution of money? So, later you can see in earlier period you could see they use barter system, isn't it? You can see commodity here. so you can see rice millets okay grains has been placed here okay after that they used what cows for exchange of mode of exchange they used as cows as a commodity okay and later they used coins and now we are using what cards credit card debit card okay and we are using currency notes so after gold coins gold bars we got coins okay later we got currency notes and at present we are using credit card and debit cards okay now recent forms of money transactions are online transactions we are doing we are using atm we are using bank transactions online transactions and we all are using mobile banking right Okay, next one is paper money so what is paper money you could see currency notes placed here in the picture okay different currency notes right okay it was found inconvenient as well as dangerous to carry gold and silver coins from place to place right whenever we go outside so we feel very inconvenient to carry gold and coins isn't it for that purpose invention of paper money marked a very important stage in the development of money okay for that purpose only the government introduced what paper currency or paper money the development of paper money started on the basis of storage of gold and the receipts 
were issued by the goldsmiths for these storages okay this receipts of goldsmith were substitute for money and became paper money paper money is regulated and controlled by central bank of country what is that central bank of india right reserve bank of india we could say at present a very large part of money consists mainly of currency notes or paper money issued by the central bank so this is the picture of reserve bank of india you could see this picture in your book page number 230 next is credit money or bank money so we will see what is credit money or bank money emergence of credit money took place almost side by side with that of paper money so credit money right after paper money credit money was invented okay people keep a part of their cash as deposits with banks which they can withdraw at their convenient through checks so through checks we can take our deposit or withdraw our deposited money from the bank okay for that what we use we use checks isn't it the check is known as what credit money right or bank money we use demand draft check right the check itself is not money but performs the same as functions of money okay it, it perform it performs the same function of money but it's not a money right so it is called as what credit money or bank money next coming to near money the final stage in the evolution of money has been the use of bills of exchange treasury bills bonds debentures savings certificate etc so these are called as what near money next comes reason forms of money so what you could see here credit card isn't it so these are called as plastic money we use a card as a card nowadays credit card debit card right okay the latest type of money is plastic money in the form of credit cards and debit cards they aim for cashless transactions we need not take cash in our hand when we carry this card right next is e money so what is e money e money is called as electronic money okay it is which exist in banking computer systems and is available for transactions through electronic system next one is online banking or net banking online banking also known as internet banking is an electronic payment system that enables customers of a bank or other financial institutions to conduct a range of financial transactions through website so we can use this banking in online or through website we can use next one is e banking so what is e banking electronic banking so e stands for electronic here electronic banking okay also known as national electronic funds transfer that is neft n e f t so neft is called as what electronic banking e banking okay what is you have you have this in one mark national electronic funds transfer neft is simply the use of electronic means to transfer funds directly from one account to another rather than by use of check or cash okay next one is value of money so what is value of money value of money is meant the purchasing power of money over goods and services in a country you have this in short answer okay so what is value of money a money is having a value isn't it when we purchase something it has a value if you purchase a pencil for rupees 5 it is a value right 5 rupees is the value of the pencil okay 10 rupees is the value of a pen right the value of money is meant the purchasing power of money over goods and services in a country thus it is related to the price level of goods and services but the relation between the value of money and price level is an inverse one so next one is symbol of rupee so what is symbol of rupee 
So here you can see a symbol, right? So this is a symbol designed by Uday Kumar from Vilupuram district, Tamil Nadu. Okay, it was approved by the government of India in 15th July 2010. So okay, children, we'll just stop up to this. From next class, we shall start. Okay, thank you and take care.